in the Archie de Virgilio. Yeah, Archie Virgilio. Yeah, Archie Virgilio. Okay, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> okay, Alejandro, Bye. you are here in Italy. In Good Mantova. evening. I, yes, in Italy and then in Mantova. <laughs> of course. And I want to ask you just some questions. Okay. Okay, the first as, one... As long as you don't ask me what my horoscope. Okay, don't, <laughs> don't worry. But it's the first time that you come here in Italy. Second time. Second time. I was here two years ago uh, in Red and Roma. In uh, Isola Tiberina. Isola Tiberina, wow, it's beautiful. Café Literario. Okay, and and the second question is something uh, I mean a little bit uh, complicated, but I say you this okay, question not in, too in not too difficult. Don't worry. In, yes, okay. <laughs> don't worry. In your opinion, there is a country that can be considered free. Well, it depends what you mean by free. Free of what? Or free for what? Or free for whom? Yes, so I think you're right, it's a very complicated question, you know, for example, in the United States, which is considered a free country, but you can't do whatever you want. Yeah. In, in San Francisco, you can do whatever you want, but in the rest of the country, maybe not. So free or freedom is a very tenuous word, yeah? It depends who's saying it, for what reason. Okay, but I think maybe it's only my opinion, but I think that um, politics can do, can have, can do a lot of influences. So, a lot of time I can think, okay, but politics is the problem. Which is why so many poets around the world, by so many governments, are persecuted, jailed, exiled, because poetry wants freedom. Poetry demands freedom. And sometimes governments that say they are free don't like what the poet says. Yeah? So, in many ways, I think the poet and poetry is the vanguard, right? Not just the freedom, but of human rights, of respect for the earth, yes, for peace, which, by the way, politicians don't know the word peace, but poets do. Yeah, poets do. And then, the last one, because this is a, a, a flash interview. <laughs> I like flash interviews. You like flash interviews, okay. So, we are here in Mantova, and then, yeah, and then, what do you think about this experience? that you had in this festival, Terra di Virgilio? I, I think it was, it's one of the best experiences I have had with a community of poets, with a community like Mantova that loves and respects and encourages and supports poetry, and the community of poetry, which I think is very important, especially in our times when there's so much division, so much hatred, antagonism, war, conflict, violence, I think poetry is the best alternative and gives us uh, a reason to have hope. And I think Mantova has fulfilled that goal very, very well. And the festival has fulfilled that goal very, very well. Okay, Alejandro, I'm so happy to hear this word from you. <laughs> Because it means that we are on the right way, I think. I think so. I think the poets and the poetry is the best road to take right now. Okay, so I hope to see you again in some places or inside some words, I don't, we, we don't know. And thank you. And, th and thank you to, for inviting me and uh, allowing me to share my work with this beautiful town and this beautiful community. Thank you. Gracias.